Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Reformed Faith Simplified. And we left off the other day, we were talking, we have been talking about the five pillars that hold up the Reformed Faith. And these are, uh, these are thought processes uh, from the scriptures that really the Reformed Faith rests on. And we talked about sola scriptura, that is scripture alone. We talked about sola fide, that is faith alone. And then we talked about sola Christos, that is Christ alone. Today we want to talk, and we're going to extend this out just a little bit. We're going to talk about sola gratia. And sola gratia means by, by grace alone. And Ephesians 2 uh, verse number eight and nine says, for by grace, you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, uh, not as a result of works so that no one may boast. So uh, when we say sola gratia, what we're saying is that our faith is built on grace and Romans chapter five, verse number one said, this is the grace of that we stand in, and that grace is extended from the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, and the Reformation, the things of the Reformation, the uh, Reformed theology stands or is seated on grace, and that's how we live, by grace. And then finally is uh, sola dio gloria, sola dio gloria. That would be for the glory of God alone. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 says, whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. So the Reformed faith is built off of these tenets. Sola Scriptura, Sola Fide, Sola Gratia, Sola Christos, and Sola Dio Gloria, to God alone. And that's how we want to live our life to the glory of God alone. And one thing that, and, and that doesn't mean that these things were not present prior to the Reformation, but what, what took place when the Reformation happened and when Reformed theology started to become more understood is there was more people that was able to live biblically because they were able to define what that means to live biblically. So these are the pillars that holds up Reformed faith. Next time, we're going to start talking about TULIP, and that is more the ins and out of the theological perspective.